Hello, welcome to Beals Science. I'm Craig Beals. I wanna show you an experiment that I love to do around Valentine's Day, and I call it fire and ice, and you'll see why I like it at Valentine's Day, but really, this is good any time of the year because there are a whole bunch of reactions happening there in one test tube. In this experiment, we're gonna see three different reactions happen. We're gonna use calcium metal, phenolphthalein, isn't that great? That's a great spelling word in my chemistry class. We're gonna use hydrochloric acid, three molar tells a concentration. I've got some warm water and then just some chemistry supplies, some pipettes, wood splint, a large test tube, Erlenmeyer flask, a couple graduated cylinders. I'm gonna start off with about 15 milliliters of warm water. The exact amount doesn't matter and the temperature doesn't matter, but you want warm water because the reaction will be too slow otherwise. And then what I'm gonna do is add some calcium metal. Look at that, huh? Hydrogen gas. As it reacts with the water to produce hydrogen gas, it's also making calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide is basic. So I've got some clear phenolphthalein. This is an indicator solution that changes color as the pH changes. Let's see what happens when it hits a basic solution. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, now you're starting to see why uh, I like to do this at Valentine's Day because, well, okay, all the, the colors, of course, are Valentine's-y. So this is a very basic solution, the opposite of acidic. So this is nice, but if we're producing hydrogen gas, that hydrogen gas should be flammable. Hmm. Let's look at this again. This time I'll add the phenolphthalein indicator ahead of time. So here goes nothing. Oh. Yeah. Ready? Oh, did you see it? Oh, let's turn the lights off. Oh. <laughs> you see it? Oh. If this is fire and ice experiment, well, there's our fire. Where's our ice? I'm gonna use some hydrochloric acid. So we're gonna get a reaction now where the acid from this is gonna react with the base, the calcium hydroxide, in here. Let's see. Whoa, wait, what? Look. The whole thing we just made is gone, except for some little, teeny, tiny, pink snow crystals in the bottom. We've made our little snow globe here by a whole series of reactions. Now, we can, we can make this thing, should we keep it going? Produce more hydrogen gas, huh? Oh, oh wait a minute. Wait just a moment. Can you see that? Can you see the snow falling in there? Oh! Here we go. We've got so many things going on. And now it's starting to turn pink again. We're getting snow crystals that are falling down. Look at this, should we add some fire? There's so much to learn from this little tiny test tube. And really, whatever it takes to convince you to get excited about science, to get excited about learning, it's little things like this that I think make it fun. So, thanks for watching and keep on learning.